Okay guys, welcome to Engineers Academy. Uh, today I am going to start a new uh, video series which will tell you people the calculator techniques uh, related to engineering statics and uh, some problems related to mathematics. So today we are going to learn how to use the calculator to find the f of x and f of y components of a given force. Right, so we have this problem. We are given that the force is 4000 Newton and it is making 32.3 uh, degrees with the positive x-axis and we are required to find the components of this force f, uh, f of x and f of y using the calculator. So as we know from statics that f of x is always uh, f cos of that angle. So f cos of the angle is 33.81 and f of y is the sine component so that is 4000 sine of this so this is 2137.409 so how to use this uh, find this in using calculator so what we need to do is that uh, first of all our calculator is normally in the uh, in the math mode so we have to convert the calculator into the complex mode so how to convert that into complex mode we have to press this mode button and then this second one is the complex mode right so this is two we will press two so now our calculator is in the complex mode and then we have to enter that force magnitude and uh, along with the angle theta right so we have to put the uh, we have to put we have to write 4000 and angle 32.3 degrees in calculator so how to input that so we will write 4000 and then uh, here we have that angle that is less than sine so shift the 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 brown uh, functions are performed with the shift button right so we have to uh, press this shift and then this dash button so we have that angle sign and then we will write that 32.3 degree angle right and now if i press equal so it will give us since it's in, in the complex mode so it gives us uh, the complex number right and the complex number tells us that uh, this is the f of x we got 3381.047 let's see and plus 2137 that is 2137.409 iota so now in this this is this is our f required f of x and this is our required f of y so this is how we can use uh, calculator to find the f of x and f of y directly now let's say if we have one another example let's say uh, this is positive x and positive y and the force is let's say uh, uh, 2500 newton let's say and the angle is let's say uh, 42 degrees and we want to find f of x and f of y so again uh, the calculator is in uh, complex mode if it is not in complex mode convert it into complex mode so press the mode button and then uh, 2 so the calculator is in the complex mode now we have to enter the force magnitude along with its angle so angle is shift and this button and then 42 degrees so if we press equal then f of x is we can write that f of x for this force is uh, that is 1857.86 1857.86 18 newtons and similarly f of y is 1672.83 so this is 1672.83 newtons now the next uh, technique that i am going to tell you people while solving the engineering statics problem is that how to find the resultant of concurrent and coplanar forces using calculator so these forces, uh, the line of action of these forces meet at a point, right? So these are concurrent forces and they are in the XY plane. So they are coplanar forces. So if we want to find the resultant of such forces uh, using calculator, so it's very easy. So first of all, again, the first step is that convert your calculator to complex mode. So uh, let's say if, if the calculator is not in the complex mode, so convert it into complex mode. So press the mode button and then two. So this is converted into complex mode then uh, the second step is that we need to input uh, all the forces along with their angles 
And keep in mind that all these angles should be in the from from the positive x axis. If this is 30, then we need to input this angle for this t, right? So this angle is 180 minus 45. And then for this force, we have to enter this angle that is in the counterclockwise direction with the positive x axis. So this angle is 270. So now we need to enter uh, this magnitude of force F, which is 86.60, 86.60. And then uh, its angle with the positive x axis is 30. So we have to enter that angle. So shift angle, this is 30. And then since we want to aid up uh, all these forces, so we have to write plus. And then the magnitude of this second uh, tension T, which is 70.70. So I will write 70.70 uh, along with its angle. So its angle is, again, I have told you people that we have to enter the angle with the positive axis. So that is 180 minus 45. And then the third uh, force is this P, which is 68.60. And then again, uh, we have to press the plus button and then the third force is 68.60 and shift angle and its angle is 270. So that is 270. And then the step three is that we have to press the equal button, right? Since we want to add up all these uh, three forces. So equal. So this gives us a, a, a complex number, which is 25.005 plus 24.6924 so these, these are the components of the resultants and also there is this the step 3 gives us a complex number let me write that complex number so that is r and that is in terms of rx plus ryi like this right so rx is 25.005 uh, 25.005 25 plus Ry is 24.692, that is 24.692i. So this is the component of the resultant along the x-axis and this is the component of the resultant along the y-axis. So if we plot this, if this is our positive x and y-axis, so these are the components of the resultant along the x. So along the x, this is 25, this is our x. And then this is Ry. But now if you people want to find the resultant of both of these, which will be equal to Rx square plus Ry square under the square root. And if you people want to find it directly using the calculator, using the complex mode, we can do it. So we have to further proceed to step number four. So step number four is that we have to press this shift button. So we have to press this shift and then this two, uh, since we want to apply some operation of the complex number, right? So this is two. And then we have these four further options and we want to apply this three. This is R uh, along with the angle theta, right? So I will press three and then I will press equal button. So now it gives us a number with angle, right? So now after step four, we get uh, 35.142. So this is the resultant magnitude. This is 35.142 Newtons and with angle, right? So that angle is 44.639. So the angle of the resultant is uh, 44. 639 and this will be with the positive x axis is right so if we add up both of these so we will get the resultant and that resultant will be acting like this and its magnitude is uh, 35.142 and it is making 44.639 angle with the positive x axis so this is the uh, this is r and this is the theta right so we have used the r and theta function of the complex number to, in order to get the resultant so this is how we can find the resultant of concurrent and coplanar forces, right? And the resultant of that uh, resultant magnitude, uh, we can get the, uh, the components of the resultant and further we can get the resultant magnitude and its angle with the positive x axis. So I hope these two techniques will help you in solving your statics problem uh, with the help of calculator. Let me know in the comment section if it helps in your learning.